Hello, my name is Gavin Burcham from Twin Tobacco. Today's video is going to be about how to break in a new pipe. Okay, so before we get started, please, if you enjoy this content, feel free to give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support the channel in another way, you can check out our Patreon page. A little bit of support goes a long way, and YouTube is very much not helping us with our tobacco content, if I do say so myself. Anyway, moving on. So, some of the finer things in life require a breaking in process. For example, I own several pairs of leather shoes. Now, over time, I wore them and now they are even more comfortable than they were when I first bought them. Same thing goes for a combustion engine. I really like motorcycles and I'm planning on purchasing a new motorcycle and I've been researching all the ways to properly break in a new engine. That's what we, we live for. Hobbies are supposed to be like, they require doing things. So I actually don't mind breaking in new things. It actually makes you enjoy that product even more. I'm talking about breaking in other products, but you also need to break in a briar pipe. Now I say a briar pipe because some other pipes such as a Meerschaum pipe do not require a breaking in process. You don't need to build a carbon cake in a Meerschaum pipe or a clay pipe or a mortar wood pipe because of the high mineral content in mortar wood. Okay, so what is breaking in a briar pipe entail? What, is, what does that mean? What really keeps a briar wood pipe smoking and smoking for a lifetime is carbon cake in the chamber. Briar is wood and wood burns. The reason why this works for a pipe is because a briar is kind of heat resistant and it's also porous. As you smoke tobacco in the chamber, carbon cake will build up. Now carbon cake is like a layer of carbon that will stick to the walls of the chamber and that has many benefits. That carbon, it acts as an insulator so it protects the wood from burning so you don't have a burnout. A burnout is when you actually like a, a portion of the wall starts to burn and burn until eventually it pops a hole out the side of the wood or the bottom and then the, the pipe is ruined. So the carbon cake actually protects that wood from a burnout but also the carbon cake does some other things. Public enemy number one for pipes is heat. The number two enemy is gonna be moisture. Now carbon cake helps to tackle both of those problems. It helps to dissipate the heat a little bit better. And then number two, it absorbs some of the moisture that collects in the bottom of the chamber. Now that moisture does not taste good and that moisture also prevents you from getting all the flavors out of your tobacco. So you need to build a carbon cake. And in my personal opinion, the most important area that needs carbon cake is at the bottom where the moisture collects and also where the heat goes down the stem towards your mouth. That hopefully will be the last defense to collect any moisture and absorb any heat. So how do you build carbon cake? It's actually in some ways extremely simple and in some ways extremely controversial within the pipe community. I would say most people on the internet and books that I've read, they say you just need to smoke the pipe. Just like breaking in a pair of leather shoes it just requires that you walk around in the shoes, but it's a little bit more complicated. So some people say fill the bowl halfway and smoke it down and then fill it up again maybe the next day and smoke it down. And other people say you could fill the bowl all the way. But you just have to be conscious to smoke it all the way down because you want it to build carbon cake all the way down. So you just have to take a little bit more mental energy and determination to finish your smoke. I had that kind of mindset and I did that for a number of my pipes, but I got a little bit complacent or slash lazy, whatever you want to call it, over the last year or two, and I didn't properly smoke it all the way down to the bottom. So I've noticed there's been a buildup of cake in the middle to the upper portion of the bowl and not as much cake on the bottom. Like I said before, I think carbon cake on the bottom of the bowl is probably the most important area. So if you're gonna be really on top of it, you can fill the bowl all the way to the top with tobacco just remember to smoke it all the way down. Or you can just do the simpler approach, and I think probably 
probably the better approach would be to fill a halfway, smoke it down, that's it for the day. And then maybe the next day, do the same thing again for maybe the first 10 times that you smoke your pipe. Once you smoke it all the way down, kind of mix it with the tamping tool, the shovel or the, the poker, just gently mix the ash. And then I like to cover the bowl like this, shake it, get a nice layer of ash all around the chamber. And that helps build a carbon cake. Smoke it gently the first 10 or so times. Maybe don't smoke it outside if it's a really windy day because that wind will make the ember hotter and that could potentially damage the chamber. If you're still getting tongue bite, if you're still getting moisture, if you're still getting excess heat, then that means A, you didn't build a carbon cake well, like in the bottom, but more likely you're probably smoking your tobacco too wet or you're smoking it too quickly or both. So I would recommend putting your tobacco in a bowl and air drying it a little bit before you smoke. So drier tobacco combusts at a lower temperature and therefore you get less tongue bite. And then also less moisture collects because there's less moisture, therefore less steam is created in the combustion process. Hopefully you can break in your pipe without an issue and get the most out of the experience. Anyway, I hope that wasn't overly complex. It really isn't that complicated. Just smoke your bowl all the way down. That's all you got to do. Eventually it'll smoke better. Well, that about wraps it up. What do you guys think is the best method for breaking in a pipe? Are you putting in honey in your bowl? Are you doing a full tobacco chamber all the way down? Are you doing half a tobacco chamber all the way down or some type of method that I have never even heard of before? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed that video, please give us a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already. With that, Keep enjoying your tobacco, people.